Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about the Cairn Terrier. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. Cairn Terrier. Hailing from the Isle of Skye within the Scottish Highlands, the Cairn Terrier is an ancient breed. They were utilized by farmers to catch and kill mice, squirrels, rabbits and other rodents. The Cairn was originally known as the Short-Haired Skye Terrier until they were brought to the UK's dog show in 1909. Sky Terrier breeders did not take well to the name and a compromise was reached with the name Cairn Terrier. They would often root out rodents from their hiding places under mounds of stones that were used as memorials or to mark boundaries, often at the top of hills. The mounds are called Cairns, and this is where the name for the breed derived. Today, Cairns are confident show dogs and companions. They still hunt vermin and have a strong prey drive. In 1913, the Cairn received recognition from the American Kennel Club, AKC, under their Terrier group. First, let's have a look at the pros. Hypoallergenic, these dogs don't shed much, so you won't have to worry about pet hair everywhere. Pet friendly, unlike most Terriers, the Cairn Terrier is willingly more friendly with other pets. Excellent watchdog, these dogs will alert you when any activity is going on. Not that they'll rescue you from an intruder, but they will alert you. Only needs moderate amount of exercise which makes it adaptable to many different living environments. This is an adaptable dog that does well in pretty much any type of home environment, whether it's a small apartment or large house. As one of the easier members of the Terrier family, Cairns can be a good choice for first-time owners. Fortunately, grooming is considered rather easy since Cairn Terrier shedding is pretty mild. He has moderate exercise needs and enjoys snuggling on your lap as much as he loves exploring new places. Because Cairn Terriers are so small, they'll quickly adjust to living in an apartment. The best setting for a Cairn is a home full of love. They can easily adapt to any environment, whether it's a condo unit in the city or a spacious farmhouse. It's now time to look at the cons. Barking. This terrier breed is very sassy and scrappy so be prepared for a lot of barking. Stubbornness. Getting a Cairn Terrier to listen is a job within itself. These are very stubborn dogs. Health problems, joint problems, epilepsy, and cataracts are a few health problems Cairns are prone to have. Cairn Terriers are not necessarily the best choice for brand new dog owners. They can be a little tough to train, as they tend to be stubborn. The Cairn Terrier is not a good dog for families with smaller kids or children who are a bit more spirited or rough. Consider his hunting instincts and incredible valor, this breed has been known to chase after strange dogs, cats and other animals. Interesting facts, Toto, the dog who starred in the movie Wizard of Oz, 1939, was a female Cairn whose real name was Terry. Norbert, an adorable Cairn mix, is an Instagram influencer with hundreds of thousands of followers. He works as a therapy dog at Children's Hospital LA. Famous owners of Cairns have included Liza Minnelli, daughter of Judy Garland, and Prince Edward and Wallace Simpson. Appearance. Cairn has a wiry, wavy double-layered coat, with a long, wavy outside layer of fur and a downy, soft inner coat. This little dog's weight is only about 13 to 14 pounds while his height is between 9.5 to 10 inches. There are five possible Cairn Terrier colors, including black, brindle, cream, tan, and wheaten. The Cairn Terrier lifespan is about 13 to 15 years. Shedding and grooming, Cairns do shed, like all dogs, although are considered to be a low shedding breed. Fortunately, Grooming is considered rather easy since Cairn Terrier shedding is pretty mild. AKC recommends weekly brushing to ensure their wavy coat does not become matted. This should be done multiple times a week, increasing to daily brushing during the spring and autumn months. You need to perform hand stripping in order to groom them because scissors can ruin their outer coat. Pin brushes, slicker brushes, and metal combs are ideal for their fur type. Baths should be given every 10 to 12 weeks and never sooner than every 6 weeks. They can be towel dried or air dried but some owners, 
particularly those of show dogs will hand strip their pet. This allows new hair to grow through the follicles and should be done every 6 to 8 months. Ears will need to be cleaned every week to remove any debris in the canal. Nails should be trimmed fortnightly to prevent overgrowth. Teeth will need brushing three times a week although vets recommend daily brushing. Cost. On average a Ken puppy will cost $950 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $725 and $1450. The average price of a Ken Terrier puppy in India is around 25,000 to 35,000 rupees. Price range can vary based on the dog's quality, lineage, location and quality of the breeder. Exercise and trainability. The Cairn Terrier dog will need up to one hour of exercise each day. Due to their strong prey drive, they should only be allowed off-leash in enclosed areas. Digging is an activity Cairns love, but it will need to be curbed to prevent this from becoming excessive. A Cairn pup should never be overexerted as this can be damaging for their joints. Dog sports are great for the cairn and they excel in earth dog trials, agility, tracking, obedience, coursing and herding. For training to run smoothly, the cairn must know who is boss. Be firm, concise, and patient. Respect training should be taught in the first few weeks of your puppy's new life. Cairns are known to be sensitive so they won't take harsh training methods which could put them off learning altogether. Digging, barking, and chasing will be the hardest tasks to tackle. All three are embedded in the can. Positive reward-based training is the best way forward, but you mustn't let them push the boundaries. Socialization with other dogs is important because they can become dominant and even scrappy with dogs they don't know. Due to their small size and never back down personality, a larger dog could seriously injure this breed. Intelligence, According to The Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Coren, Cairn Terrier is ranked 35. Understanding of new commands 15 to 25 repetitions and obeys first command 70% of the time or better. Swimming. While some Cairn Terriers love swimming and spending time in bodies of water, others may not. Hence, if you have a Cairn that is comfortable and happy around water bodies, you can take him for a swim. But if your pooch is not so keen on the water, then you should not force him to take a dip in the water. Barking. The Cairn Terrier is a pretty talkative breed and leading cause of barking in this breed is due to their hunter instincts. They can get a bit noisy and thus, they're not highly suited for those families who are looking to raise a calm and quiet canine. These terriers would have barked a lot when they couldn't get out of a burrow after chasing their prey. Other common causes of barking can include boredom, loneliness or out of alarm and fear. Weather and climate. Cairn Terriers have a good tolerance to heat and can easily survive in moderately hot and warm areas. They don't need a lot of care and protection from their owners so as to live comfortably in those places. Their cold tolerance is also pretty decent and these pooches are good for slightly chilly and low temperature regions. Friendliness. Cairns love playing with kids although they aren't always tolerant with poking and prodding from toddlers. There aren't many small dogs that enjoy the commotion and noise associated with children, but the cuddly Cairn does. Cairn Terriers can be territorial and may react aggressively towards strange dogs. They are also very playful with other dogs but it is very important to properly socialize these canines at a young age. Without proper training and socialization, they might be a little aggressive and rough with other dogs. Due to their high prey drive, they will instinctively chase smaller animals, including rabbit-sized dogs. If the cairns are properly raised with other household pets such as cats from the very beginning, then they are known to remain highly warm and kind to other animals. At first, these pooches may remain a bit reserved and quiet around strangers, but once they are properly introduced to them, these canines can be fairly friendly and affectionate with the strangers. As natural watchdogs, they will always alert their owners to guests at the door. Adaptability. Cairns can adapt to the apartment lifestyle pretty nicely if all their exercise needs are properly fulfilled on a regular basis. They will remain calm and content if they are receiving the right amount of work and movement. Cairn can be a decent option for the novice or first-time owners. These canines have a friendly and lively personality, 
They are not that hard to groom or train and don't shed their fur very often. But these canines have fairly high exercise requirements which need to be fulfilled on a regular basis. Hence the first-time owners should be aware and ready to take up all the responsibilities. Leaving this purebred alone for more than 4 to 8 hours a day can lead to separation anxiety and eventually, destructive behaviors like chewing, digging, and barking. Guard, watchdog, cairns are not known to be great guard dogs, but they do make pretty decent watchdogs instead. These poochers are very good at looking after their homes and their property and they can alert their owners through their bark in case of any intruders, burglars etc. They are wonderful alarm dogs but their guarding abilities are restricted mainly because of their tiny size. Drooling. The Cairn Terriers are not known to drool a lot. They mostly drool after eating, drinking something or sometimes when they are excited, but apart from this, they don't drool or slobber all that much. Have you had any experience with Cairn Terrier? We'd love to hear your story in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.